test, test, test. All right, should be working now. All right, sorry about that. Uh, I've had some technical difficulties trying to get the sound to work. We've opened up a call for Unity and a couple uh, good white and black cards, kind of half fit into the deck. Uh, turret is very underwhelming unless you're focusing on the last pack. Uh, tampering is a good card. Um, nothing else really for us in here. Uh, all right, uh, I was debating on picking this guy earlier, but I switched to uh, the Poisoner, I believe. So I'll take this guy now. Um, he's all right. Uh, I would not call him amazing at all. You need a lot of implements or other artifacts to make it work. But it works well with Call of Unity, though. And, uh, ooh, what we have here? All decent playable cards. Ally, Evasion, Ironclad Revolutionary. After the sacrifice an artifact, if you do put two plus most counters on it, your opponent loses two life. I'm gonna go with this ally invasion, I think, over the other guy. Uh yeah, this guy is fine. Um uh, probably won't play that. Uh probably won't play that. Stream filler here. And it seems like it'd be nice, but it's too expensive for the combat track it provides. Probably play that though. I'll put a planes or two in the deck. What is in the next pack? Anybody I know playing? All right, well, Hidden Stockpile is a good pickup for this type of deck. Um, one Conviction would be good. Um, this Admiral is very underwhelming. A Brawl is only good in Modern, but Hidden Stockpile fits in my deck perfectly. So I'll take that. Uh, I would like a Conviction, though. Uh, I think it would help the deck, too, just with this uh, Call for Unity. And hidden Stockpile, pretty nice. If I get a uh, SRAM, SRAM, that works well with uh, Conviction that I don't have yet. Uh, I do need more artifacts from this to work. So I don't know if I play this main or not. I don't play this guy either. It's just a better Blister Beetle, I think. Unplayable. Card is good, but not what I want. Uh, so I'm looking at this aeronaut. Hmm. There's a shock in the pack too. So this is. It works for getting energy, kind of, but otherwise the card's just terrible. So this uh, little guy will work, I guess. All right. So pickups for us in here. We have a second Poisoner. We can get a Conviction if we want that. It's an Implement. Uh, I like that. Um, the Assembler. It's filler. It's 3 mana, 2, 3, which is fine. With an Upside. Um, I think I'm going to go with the Poisoner. Um, I like the Death Touch. And we might wheel something out of this pack. Uh, schematic will be fine, too, but don't have too many combos with that. A second Hidden Stockpile. Over uh, nothing really, so I'll take a second hidden stockpile. All right, so we have several options in this pack. Wow, why is it still in the pack? The card's amazing. So we got this uh, gear renegade. Uh, it fits with our, our theme. Have a couple implements and another aeronaut. Hmm. I think I want one of these implements here. The question is which one. The black one is usually better, I think. Um, 
I like the black one better. Get better card advantage from it. Hmm. White one. Uh, I'll take the black one right now, I think. All right, second scavenger. S scavenger. <laughs> Salvager. Um, that's good. I like that. So better than this 2-3. Uh, Foundry assembler doesn't really fit. Um, this crawler would be fine, but I like this uh, salvagers. All right, here's another black element. So Fenhaller. Um, I think I like the Fenhaller over a second or a third implement. Uh, this guy seems good, but if he was 2-4, would be a lot better. I want to take a Fenhaller over a implement here. I don't know if that's the right pick. All right, so we got a Crusher, which is good. Decommission. Kind of like the decommission here. Crusher could do some work. Hmm. I feel like this card is more replaceable than uh, a Crusher. So I'm going to go with the Crusher here, I think. All right, so uh, I'll pick up this guy. It's a good pickup. It's my deck, and it's a good two drop. So tell me what you think about the uh, Crusher pick. I don't know if that was the right one. Um, so we got a 3-1 or a 3-2. I think I'll take... Do I need another Foul Bridge? Prowler? I have one. I don't think I'd ever use two. I'll take this guy. If I... Ooh, the white one wheel. It's also a Conviction here. I'm going to take the Conviction over the Implement. Uh, it fits better for our um, Revolt mechanic stuff. Sell target non land card from your graveyard. Okay, it's terrible. I'll take this assembler guy. If I really need some filler. Oh, got a, a white implement anyway. So it's looking good. So now I'm just looking for some sweet synergies with this stuff. Um, probably some more removal. Uh, hopefully in this slot right here, that's an uh, enchantment. Be, would be really nice. Some token makers to go with my call for unity. That uh, be good. Hmm. I like Filgree Familiar here. Tidy Conclusion. My my picks. I think I'm gonna go with Tidy Conclusion. Filgree Familiar is nice and it fits well in our deck. Um, but right now we're very short on removal. We have a Fatal Push, and it's basically it. So I like the Tidy Conclusion here. Um, I would play the Filgree Familiar, and I would consider splashing this guy. Uh, but with a kind of conclusion. Ooh. So Gearsmith. Uh, that guy's fine. Sky Whaler shot. So here's my two picks here, with the third puzzle knot being a pick. So Gearsmith or Sky Whaler shot. Uh, seeing how her deck's going, I kind of like it's Gearsmith more than the shot. But that's up in the air. Gearsmith got so much value. Do I need the shot? Or the Gearsmith. Hmm. This is a tough one too. <laughs> Which one is better? Gearsmith or shot? Let's go with the Gearsmith, I think. Um ooh. Responder is a good pickup here. Mm. Uh, that's fine, but it's hard to play in this format. And the pillow bug would be fine also, but uh, I like the responder here. Options for us in this pack. Oh, never mind. Revoke, Revoke Privileges is in the pack. So, Revoke Privileges wasn't here. Heart Scrutiny would be like third pick, and then Foundry Screecher would be a good pick up there. Uh, and then some Not Desperate for Two Drops. I don't really need the Cobra, but Revoke Privileges is perfect. Fits in my deck. Exactly what I need. The Long Tusk Cub, uh, kind of like the Pioneer, uh, Pioneer in this pack. Uh, Long Tusk Cub is a good one. Uh, Skygate is good, but I like the Pioneer. Flying is very premium in this format, and sometimes it's hard to get the the right mix of flying guys. It's 
Bill stop your opponent. All right, so I think the Sly Requisitioner is probably not going to make the cut. I do have several implements. Along with this ally evasion. All right, this pack, uh, Aerobatic Maneuver. It's definitely a good card here. But now he's making another cut. Hmm. Stockpiles was the hard one. I don't know if I can do 16 land with this. This Crusher is the only card that I can consider taking out. That I, I'm not in love with. So Renegade's also an option. So this is my options of taking out right now. Um, this guy is so underwhelming. So underwhelming. Uh, it's built to last. Good sideboard card, I guess. I don't need the broker. So I'll take a built to last. Wow. Hmm. Sort of exposition, Avery Mechanic, or a Trail Hawk. Does the hawk do anything for me? The mechanic do anything for me? The mechanic just gives me rebuys on cards. Rebuy. Revoke privileges. Gearsmith. Guardian. Energy, I guess. Oops, what did I take? Alright, for the mechanic. I got one of those, so I'll take another big guy at the sideboard. You get uh, two energy attacks, pay energy. If you do, target attacking creature get indestructible. Or an Ibex. Uh, well, this is clearly better than an Ibex, so if you look at it. Um, yeah, no playables. Uh, no playables for me. No playables. No playables. And a land. Alright, so we're down to too many cards in the deck that are good. I think I can get away with 16. Um, so it's really the Crusher. Uh, mechanic. This card seems like it doesn't go not good, but I have a conviction now, so it's better. I like the flying aspect. Um, I go with that, and then I kind of top out at five. So I think sixteen might be enough. It's a pretty decent curve. It's only a two. Other options are taking out one of these implements, but I like having there to trigger the uh, revolt. So by color and my basics, what's this thing do? Uh, put the top four five card in your library. Yep, don't want to play that. Add some basics. Seven and seven. Yep, that looks about right. So by for mana cost. Sixteen lands. Eight and eight. Um because of the way the curve looks about right. The two drops would change whatnot. Anyway. Alright, um this is the deck. I'll see you in round one.